All right, Joey. I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. Hey, here's my old desk. I wasted so much time in this chair. Looks like they knocked out a wall or two after I left. Guess it took a few people to replace me. Let's see what you're hiding down there, old friend. to work. Oh my god. Joey, what were you doing? Ooh, what's this? Pretty strange worker, if you ask me. Alright, let's get this out of you. Ugh. Ah. Well, thank you, Boris. Okay, that's all of them. I just need to get the ink flowing somehow. Should be a switch around here somewhere. Then I can start up the main power. Okay then, let's go the- <gasps> I'd like to meet this guy. Oh my head. 
Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. Press on. See if I can find a way out. How did this place get so big? What's that? He appears from the shadows to rain his sweet blessings upon me. The figure of ink that shines in the darkness. I see you, my savior. I pray you hear me. Those old songs, yes, I still sing them. For I know you are coming to save me, and I will be swept into your final loving embrace. But love requires sacrifice. Can I get an amen? Well, that seems to be the end of the audio log. I said, can I get an amen? Who said that? Hello? Excuse me, can, can you help me? Hello? Where the hell did he go? I need to get power to this gate somehow. Should be a couple switches nearby. Then maybe I can open it. There's one. There's two. Okay, that's all of them. It's really dark in here. What's that over there? Looks like another audio recorder. So first, Joey installs this ink machine over our heads. And then it begins to leak. Three times last month, we couldn't even get out of our department because the ink had flooded the stairwell. Joey's solution. An ink pump to train it periodically. Now I have this ugly pump switch right in my office. People in and out all day. Thanks, Joey. Just what I needed. More distractions. These stupid cartoon songs don't write themselves, you know. Huh. That sounds like the guy. Right, that was Earth. On that other audio log. Looks like the stairwell's flooded. If I'm gonna get out of here, I need to find a way to drain it. What the heck? Oh my god. Uh, the axe. This room looks like a music room. Hey, another audio log. Let's look into it. Hey, let's press this button and... It may only be my second month working for Joey Drew, but I can already tell I'm gonna love it here. People really seem to enjoy my Alice Angel voice. Sammy says she may be as popular as Bendy someday. These past few weeks, I voiced everything from chocolate chairs to dancing chickens. But this is the first character I've really felt a connection with. She's a part of me. Alice and I, we're going places. So naive. Well, there's the pump switch, all right. But that's one hell of a leak blocking the door, though. If I could just stop that ink from flowing, maybe I can get in. An audio log? Hmm, I wonder what this is doing here. So I was going to get my dustpan from the hall closet the other day, and guess what? I can't find my stupid key. It's like they disappeared in the thin air or something. All I can think of is that they must have fallen in one of the garbage cans I was making my rounds last week. I just hope nobody tells Sammy, because if he finds out I lost my keys again, I'm out of here. Hmm, I guess I probably should find Wally's keys. 
<laughs> that was easy. All right, now let's unlock this closet over here. Hmm, nothing but an audio rug. Maybe this could help. Let me play it. Every artistic person needs a sanctuary. Joey Drew has his, and I've got mine. To enter, you need only know my favorite song. The drum thunders in triumph. The piano delicately calls. The piano returns in graceful harmony. The banjo playfully plucks. Sing my song, and my sanctuary will open to you. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's go. Uh, boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Perfect. All right, here we go. Oh. There's one. All right, then I... <gasps> Like this hallway is the way to go. Hmm. Oh, a stairway. Okay, let's go. Oh no, there's no valve. Where did it go? Is that a thing holding my valve? Why do you want this way? Oh, what's this? I love the quiet, and that's hard to come by in these busy times. And yeah, sure, it, it may stink to high heaven down here, but it's just perfect for an old lyricist like me. Sammy's songs always got some bounce, but uh, if I didn't get away once in a while, they'd never have any words to go with them. So I'll keep my mind to singing and uh, my nose closed. Hmm, pretty good. Ooh, what's this button do? Whoops. Sorry I had to do that. Nice hat, though. Um. Okay, that should do it. There it is. Alright, let's get out of here. and tight. We wouldn't want our sheep roaming away now, would we? No, we wouldn't. I must admit, I am honored you came all the way down here to visit me. It almost makes what I'm about to do seem cruel. But the believers must honor their savior. I must have him notice me. Wait. You look familiar to me. That face. Not now, for our Lord is calling to us, my little sheep. The time of sacrifice is at hand. And then I will finally be freed from this prison. This inky, dark abyss I call a body. Shh. Quiet. Listen. I can hear him crawling above, crawling. Let us begin. The ritual must be completed. Soon he will hear me. He will set us free. Hear me, Bendy. Arise from the darkness. Arise. 
No time to. Whoa, whoa. Uh. Well, this is my ex. I'm gonna head to the exit right now. Uh. Uh. Show yourself. Boris? I'm not getting out of here that easy. Need to open the door, but the lever is missing. Boris probably has it. Hey buddy, you seen that lever handle around? Or are you holding it hostage until I make you something to eat? I thought so. Let's see what we got. That should be enough. Looks like it's really dark up ahead. Let's find some light. Don't be scared, Boris. Keep the light near you so you don't get lost. Did you hear that? Yeah. Me either. Another dead end. I don't see any other way through. You got any ideas for us? Something blocking the door. There's gotta be a way through. Hmm. Looks like this is someone's audio log. Let's listen to it. I don't be seeing what the big deal is. So what if I waste and painted some of those bendy dolls with a crooked smile? But sure no reason for Mr. Drew to be flying off the handle at me. And if he really wants to be so helpful, he could be telling me what I have to be doing with this warehouse I got full of that angel watch him accomplish. Not a scrap of that mess, he said. He'd probably have to melt it all down to be rid of it all. Hmm. Top in the morning, too. I am Pilatius. <laughs> Alright, here's the switch. Alright, let's head back to the station. Let's see if we can unlock, unlock this thing now. That was easy. Okay, let's go. Um, hello? This is all Alice Angel stuff. Hello. Wait, you motionless? Hmm. 
I wonder why. Hmm. This place seems a little, a little dark. Another pretty interesting hallway. Another audio log? Hmm, let's play it. There's nothing wrong with dreaming. Wishing for the impossible is just human nature. That's how I got started. Just a pencil and a dream. We all want everything without even having to lift a finger. They say you just have to believe. What's he talking about? Well, anyways, there's an exit over here. I better go through it. Do, do, do. Another tape? Hmm. I wonder who this is. Everything feels like it's coming apart. But I walked into the recording booth today. Sammy was there with that Allison. Apparently, I didn't get the memo. Alice Angel will now be voiced by Miss Allison Pendle. Part of me died when he said that. There's gotta be a way to fix this. Poor Susie. She must have really loved that book. Anyway, let's keep going. Boris! Oh, you scared me to death. Don't suppose you found anything we can use to protect ourselves with. This will do. Alright, let's go. Looks like to open this, we're gonna need to find two different levers. You get this one, okay, Boris? I'll find the other. The Butcher Gang. Now this is some people I don't remember. Hmm. Ah! Oh my god, what are you? Whoa. 
Let's go, Boris. Boris, wait up. Boris, slow down. Boris. I'm gonna go over here. Look around. It took so many of them to make me so beautiful. Anything less than perfect is left behind. I had to do it. She made me. I'm gonna be a saint. I wonder whose audio log this is. It says it belongs to Susie Campbell. I assume she liked it more. Alright, this is the room. Hmm. Now we come to the question. Do I kill you? Do I tear you apart to my heart's delight? The choices of the beautiful are unbearable. How's a girl to choose? <laughs> Take this little freak, for instance. He crawled in here, trailing his tainted ink to my door. It could have touched me. It could have pulled me back. Do you know what it's like living in the dark puddles? It's a buzzing, screaming well of voices. Bits of your mind swimming like, like fish in a bowl. First I was born for its inky wound. I guess the this pipe wrench will do. Alright. Uh, Alright, let's go. Alright. Oh, an audio log. These blasted elevators. Sometimes they open, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they come, and sometimes they keep on going to hell and back. I keep telling these people, if Mr. Joey Drew keeps cutting corners like this, someone's sure to end up falling to their death. And it sure ain't gonna be me. I'm taking the stairs. Hmm. Pretty wise decision, Tom. There are so few rules to our world now. So little truths. But there is one rule we all know and respect down here. Beware the ink team. Out in the open for too long, and he will find you. For if you see him, you'd better hide. If you don't, well, I enjoyed our date. Now, let us begin our work. Hey, right, boys, you ready to go up? I thought so. Okay. Have you met him? The Ink Demon. They say he hears everything. Every creak of the floor, every rustle of paper. I wouldn't run so fast if I were you. There's one right there. You never know what will draw him in. Now let go. 
got no thing. Where'd it go? Uh, there's no thing. What's this? Looked like he was holding it the whole time. Ah, that should be plenty. Return them to me. And try not to die on the way back. Here you go. The swollen ones. They're just stuffed full of You're saying you have something that I'll need. Okay. Looks like this will do. Alright, now let's go. Mm. Ooh. Okay, I got it. Now let's get the next one. Perfect. Wait. Oh, an audio log. Look like this is the audio log of the Wally Franks. Hold up, wait. that over there? Hey, you, who are... <coughs> hey! <coughs> What's this? I'll go to your table. Here's the thing, I guess. Why do I need a plunger, though? No answer? Alright, fine. Right. Here's the valve pad. Alright. This might take a while. Oh. See what we got in here. All right. Yeah, this looks like one. And <laughs> I got the first one, but that means I have two more to get. Dang it. Well, I guess I better go find the other. Looks like this is it. There's the second one. No, I just wait. What the heck? Wait, what the heck? He has a mouth on his head. Wait, he's carrying this. Phew. You're quite a little fish and errand boy, aren't you? Uh, I guess, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Huh? Okay, he'll never find me here. Out of here. 
here with the power cords. All right, here's your equipment and the valve. Pack. Let's see those grinning demons. Let's remove them, shall we? I've got just the tool to make this even more enjoyable. Oh my god. Now this is actually quite perfect. I'll get right to work. Yeah. Now that was fun. Oh, I to mention, he hates it when I do that. I would hide if I were you. <laughs> Okay. Okay, let's get out of here. Alright, I guess I'll put the axe in here. Where's my gen pipe? Ah, here it is. Oh no! What's wrong? Anyone else want to mess with Henry the Knight? What do we do now? Oh, I hate leaving work unfinished. What you mean? I have you to pick up the pieces. But you have to go even deeper. Down, down, down into the abyss. Take the lift down. Say hello to an old friend. Sending you a little present. A little fire. I'll try my best to take care of it. Alright, I guess I can make this... Uh, work? Alice, what the heck? I forgot. It's a little hard to get a hold of. Oh well. Better luck next time. <laughs> alright, alright. I got a gem pipe, so I guess that's good. Perfect. Let's go. Okay, here I am. He heard me. I gotta hide. Uh. There's another one. Okay, let's go. There's another one. There's another one. Oh crap. He's gone. There's a, the last one. Dead 
that end. Oh crap. Stay back. Sorry I had to do that. Let's get out of here while we still can before this guy wakes up. Looks like there's uh, another audio log right here. No, I'm not looking for trouble. It's just the nature of us projectionists to seek out the dark places. You see, I've learned the ins and outs of this here studio. I know how to avoid being bothered by the likes of this company. That projectionist they always say, creeping around, he's just looking for trouble. Well, trouble or not, I seize everything. They don't even know when I'm watching. Even when I'm right behind them. That must have been the projectionist before he got muted. Well, I'm out of here. Alright, here's your heart, Alice. It seemed we reached the end of my to-do list, my little errand boy. I hope you enjoy our time together. Oh, I did. I'll always treasure it. Return to the lift. It's time to go home. She just said it's time to go home. <gasps> wow! Wait, hold up, wait. What's that right there? I wonder who the audio log this is. Uh, you say, uh, the real problem, Mr. Drew, is that, uh, he never actually tells us little people anything. Oh, sure. According to him, there's always big stuff coming. Adventure and fame and the like. But, uh, I'm the guy, see, who has to make sure our budgets don't go all out of whack just because genius upstairs went out and got himself another idea. <sighs> Speaking of which, and this is top secret, Apparently, Mr. Drew has another large project in mind now, and it ain't gonna be cheap. Hmm. I wonder who that was. Well, I guess I better get going. Well, hey there, Boris. What do you got? Whose audio log is that? No answer? Okay, I'll just... Only two weeks into this company, and already it's gotten interesting. Joey is a man of ideas. And only ideas. When I agreed to start this whole thing with him, I thought there'd be a little more give and take. Instead, I give, and he takes. I haven't even seen Linda for days now. Still, someone has to make this happen. When in doubt, just keep drawing Henry. On the plus side, I've got a new character that I think people are going to love. Thank you, Boris, for showing me my audio lug. Anyways, we better get this out of here. You ready to go up? I'll assume yes. Let's go. Have you ever wondered what heaven is like? I like to dream that it's quite beautiful. A soft valley of green grass, blanketed by a warm sun. I don't think I'll ever get to see it. Are you ready to ascend, my little errand boy? The heavens are waiting.
I gotta go find him. What is this place? Jesus, that seems scary. Another audio log? Hmm, oh, that's interesting. When this is over, I'm going to have to find someone who can, can get me into a mental institution. Yep, definitely something missing here. I better go find it. There it is. All right now, let's go in. Ugh. Was right. There was an audio lug. Let's press play to it. They told me I was perfect for the role. Absolutely perfect. Now Joey's going around saying things behind closed doors. I can always tell. Now he wants to meet again tomorrow. Says he has an opportunity for me. I'll hear him out. But if that smooth talker thinks he can double cross an angel and get away with it, <laughs> well, oh, he's got another thing coming. Alice? Ooh, she doesn't like liars. Hmm. This woman has gone mad. Look, like this is the thing that was opening. All right, let's get this open. Uh. <laughs> Look, like this can do something. Huh. This might work to get across. Uh. I'll just prepare myself. And. Oh. Uh. Okay, we're moving. Okay, good. Looks like this is the way in. Mm-hmm. 
Whoa. What is this place? I don't remember any of this. And there's another audio log right here. For 40 years, I've built attractions that stagger the imagination. Colossal wonders such as the world has never seen. I have earned my legacy with sweat. Right in front of everyone. High-level investors, Wall Street tycoons. The ever-tactless Joey Drew introduces me, the great Bertram Piedmont, as Bertie, like I was his child. You may be paying me, Mr. Drew, but you don't own me. I'll build you a park bigger than anything you could ever possibly conceive. But before you go taking any bows, Mr. Drew, know that this grand achievement will belong to me, and to me alone. Well, so sorry, who to be him? This haunted house seems like the way to go, but it's gonna need some power. Hang in there, Boris. I'm coming. Speak of the devil. A little switch. Number one. Alright. Over there. Looks like I've got some company up ahead. Without some kind of weapon, I don't stand a chance. There's gotta be a way around them. There seems to be a little audio log right here. The only thing that works around here is my ulcer. Half these people don't know a wrench from a dang steamroller. Bunch of morons is what they are. Spend their day in the warehouse arguing over who's supposed to be doing what and playing them silly games. Still, I'm not complaining. I get most of my dime to myself. Suits me just fine. Only thing that bothers me is that mechanical demon in the corner. Bertram's been working on it for a month now. Says it'll walk someday, maybe dance. Oh, all it does now is give me the creeps. I swear, when my back's turned, that thing's moving. Yeah, I'm gonna get going. What's this? Maybe the bacon soup can will do. I gotta get out of here. Uh, 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 uh. Another audio log. What a surprise. Let's press this button and... The biggest park ever built. A centerfold of attractions. Each one more grand than the one before it. It makes my eyes come to tears at the thought. But then... Oh, Mr. Drew. For all your talk of dreams, you are the true architect behind so many nightmares. I built this park. It was to be a masterpiece. My masterpiece! And now you think you can just throw me out? Trample me to the dust and forget me? No! This is my park! My glory!
There's another switch over there. Alright. Now let's go get that last switch. And get out of here. Alright, here I am at the last... What's that down there? Not this guy again. I better stay out of sight somehow. Oh crap. Uh, uh. Saved me from him, the projectionist. <gasps> Let's not speak of this to anyone. <laughs> there we are. Here's the card I need. And now the ride truly begins, Henry. Okay. Come in and pretend it's all just a bad dream. It's a funny thing, how so much can fall apart so fast. We never really had control of the studio. Either you were in someone's pocket, or you were putting someone into yours. I just wanted what was promised to me. I just wanted to be beautiful. Surely you can understand that. Henry, why are you here? We're all dying to find out. Do you just enjoy the terror of the drop into hell? Because if that's the case... Hang on tight. I've got a surprise. Boris! No, oh, no, what has she done to you? <laughs> Meet the new and improved Boris! I took what I wanted, and in return, I gave him so much more! And this time, there's no ink demon, no escape. Forest! Tear him apart! Leave nothing!
song everyone knows that song who are you why are you here i was invited by an old friend and now i can't leave then you know more than we do one minute we don't even exist just thoughts and the next minute this place are you gonna let me out of here down here, strangers aren't good things. How can we trust you? We don't even know what you are. My name is Henry. I used to work here. I... I honestly don't know my name. So, they call me Alice. But I'm no angel. You go back and rest. We'll talk again later. Only for a few hours. No need to worry. I won't go far. Only up to level six. Just stay here. Keep an eye on Henry, okay? I'll be back as soon as I can. I promise. You must be hungry. Sorry, it's all we have. I know you're watching me. It's just... a little creepy. You're the one that writes on the walls. We all do. For some poor souls down here, it's the only way they can be heard. But you don't want to touch the ink for too long. It can claim you. Pull you back. That's how I met Tom. I was messing with things I shouldn't have been, and he... He was there. Why do you call him Tom? He just seems to respond to it. Well, I don't think he's very fond of me. Let me show you something. A while back, I was mapping out one of the upper levels, when I noticed something reflecting off a piece of glass. I held up the glass, looked through, and on the wall behind me was a hidden message. Right there, in plain sight. So, I kept looking, and found more and more messages everywhere in the studio. But you can't see them with your eyes. Only through this. Take a look. I don't know who's leaving them. 
but I think they know how to get out of here. Where does it all lead to? Nowhere. I followed them for a long time. Just leads me in circles. I don't think I meant to leave this place, Henry. But maybe... You are. Alice. Please let me out of here. Tom thinks you're dangerous. And what do you think? I... I think... You're the hope I've been waiting for. Go to sleep. Maybe tomorrow will be better. That was really stupid, Tom. You shouldn't have gone out there. Now that he's seen you, it's only a matter of time before he finds us here. This is a barge. All right, let's see how this works. Oh boy, this is gonna take a while. Sounds like something's stuck in the paddle wheel. What the? <gasps> Out of here. <laughs> oh, God, not again. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> No turning back now. Well, this looks like the way to go. I better go. Hello? It's rained abandoned. I trusted you. I gave you everything. And you left me to go. Sheep, sheep, sheep. 
It's time for sleep. Close. You're lucky we were in the neighborhood. Was that him? I don't think so. The searchers and the lost ones built this place. Sammy must have been keeping them at bay. Now that he's gone. Looks like we're in for a fight. Get ready. Watch out! Here they come! I think that's all of them. But you never know where they're gonna crawl out of next. Probably best if we stay together from now on. Henry? Think you can lead the way? over here though now that's interesting well I'd better go go find a way to get into administration that should be a way to get this thing open but maybe I can open it not these guys again Better stay out of sight somehow. But there's gotta be a way to get to that switch over there. Oh god, here it goes. find those things and then get head out of here. Hmm. <gasps> this must be it? Looks like whatever was here was taken long ago. How did you get down here? It pays to carry a rope. You should try it. Look, I know where we have to go. But it's not going to be pleasant. The Ink Demon has something that we need. I'm going after him. You want to go to his lair? Are you crazy? That's death. That's where the trail seems to lead. 
Well, it's probably close by. Probably through that door. But it won't be easy to open. I'll need three gears, a crowbar, some kind of counterbalance. Huh. Well, that works too. I guess. this before. I don't see any way around. Nothing to build a raft with. We'll have to wait across. We can't. We're not like you, Henry. If we go in there, well, a drop of water in the ocean is rarely seen again. And I guess it's all up to me. And I don't even know what I'm doing here. I don't even know why this is all happening to me. You're here for a reason, Henry. There's always a reason, even when you can't understand it. It's time. Set us free. They could have at least given me a weapon. this. This must be something. Let's play it. It's simply awe-inspiring, but one can accomplish with their own hands. A lump of clay can turn to me, if you strangle it with enough enthusiasm. Look what we've built. We created life itself, Henry. Not just on a silver screen, but in the hearts of those we entertain with our fancy moving pictures. But when the tickets stopped selling, when the next big thing came along, only the monsters remained. Shadows of the past. But you can save them, Henry. You can peel it all away. You see, there's only one thing Bindi has never known. He was there for his beginning. But he's never seen the end. The end. All right, Joey. I'm here. Joey? He must be in the kitchen. What is he cooking? Joey! Hello, Joey. Henry! So soon. I didn't expect you for another hour yet. Now you're just trying to impress me. But I know, I know. You have questions. You always do. The only important question is this. Who are we, Henry? I thought I knew who I was. But the success starved me. Nothing left but lines on the page. In the end, we followed two different roads of our own making. You, a lovely family. Me, a crooked empire. And my road burned. I let our creations become my life. 
The truth is, you are always so good at pushing, old friend. Pushing me to do the right thing. You should have pushed a little harder. Henry, come visit the old workshop. There's something I need to show you. All right, Joey, I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. Tell me another one, Uncle Joey. 